might steal this hat. <laughs> you should. It's yours. It's mine. You're in a very compromising position right now. <laughs> Hey, good morning, how are you? I feel like I just sounded super Canadian there. But it's been like another week or two long gap since the last video and I apologize for that, man. It is so crazy trying to keep up with everything going on in the print shop and the brand stuff and the YouTube channel. I have so much work on my plate right now, it, it's ridiculous. Trying to do this all by myself is not easy. And what we're here for today is to show you another task that's, well, uh, pretty difficult to do by myself as well. And actually I'm probably making it 10 times more difficult by trying to film it, but I figured let's give it a shot. So I just spent the last week or so printing another run of the 38 Ride Co OG tees and hoodies in a new colorway. If you recall from the video that we did this last time, I said I was gonna make these things in a new colorway every time they sell out. And well, those last ones sold out in like two, three days. So I had to haul ass and make another batch. And since they sold out so quickly last time, I spent way more time and effort printing like three times as much as I did in the last run so that hopefully these ones last a little bit longer. I wasn't kidding, these shelves are busting at the seams right now. Actually, no, that is a total lie. I hope they sell out just as fast, but I'm just, I'm hoping that more people get a chance to get their hands on these things because last time they sold out so quickly and a ton of people messaged me really bummed out that they didn't get a chance to get their hands on one of those last two colorways. So this time I went like three times as hard printing this stuff and yeah, it's overflowing in here right now. But one of the things that I've found now since starting the print shop and having a whole bunch more responsibilities and a whole bunch more stuff to eat up time throughout the day is that I don't have as much time to put into the content side of the brand like the social media photos and stuff like that and that kind of sucks because clearly you're watching this right now that's the kind of stuff that I do that's the stuff that I enjoy but I've got so much other stuff that I have to make sure I'm on top of that that's the one thing that's kind of getting left behind and at some point I would definitely like to start farming that out to somebody else but right now it's just not in the budget to start paying someone to do that stuff and we'll get there eventually so it still falls on me right now well the reality that I deal with is that there is only so much time in a day I know there are people out there that say off oh, it's something you want to do, you'll make time for it. I challenge any of those motherfuckers to follow me around for a day. You've never seen multitasking like this, eating a burrito and taking a dump at the same time in one fluid motion just to gain those extra couple minutes. So between all the printing and the business end stuff, the, everything that I got to do, the photo thing has been very, very, very hard to keep up with because that stuff takes time and thought and creativity. Like you got to get some people involved. You got to scout some spots to do it. You got to do it at the right time of day for proper light. And uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it to get some nice crispy photos. So I managed to kind of get caught up and wrap things up early for a change in here. It is four o'clock right now, meaning we've got like uh, four or five hours to get some stuff. Four or five hours is not a lot of time when there is no planning behind it, especially we've got four products to shoot and I'm trying to film it at the same time. So that's eaten up half of that. So let's call it two hours. So since I've really only got a couple hours to work with, I'm gonna use nothing but my immediate surroundings to try and get some decent shots for this thing. And I'm saying decent cause well, that's all I'm shooting for today. To get that top of the line, like amazing quality stuff, that takes time, takes planning, takes location scouting, takes lighting, takes all kinds of stuff that we just don't have time to do today. We're going into this with zero planning, zero help, zero anything special, and really just using my immediate surroundings. And by immediate surroundings, I mean a 100 foot radius around my house is what we're gonna use today. Probably nothing within the house because upstairs kind of sucks. Down here has been shot to death already, so we're gonna go outside, probably use the front yard, backyard, garage, that kind of stuff, back alley for sure because it looks ghetto as hell back there and usually ends up looking cool for photos, so we'll use that. And yeah, haul ass and try and get this done in the short amount of time I have because this stuff is coming out at the same time this video is, meaning I have one day to do all this, shoot and edit this thing and get all this stuff going so I can get back to work. So yeah, enough bullshitting. Let's do this. So this is the load of shit that I'm taking out there to do this. Cause I have to keep in mind, I'm still trying to make a video at the same time and I gotta make sure this doesn't suck as well as the photos. So here's what I got. Camera, obviously. Extra battery and memory card so I don't have to run back inside. 25 mil lens, just in case I wanna get some portraits going on. Uh, you never know, I just, I don't wanna come back in the house. Gimbal, just in case like a neighbor comes outside, maybe I can pass them that thing and they can get a couple shots of me while I'm trying to shoot photos. Maybe it'll make this video a little better. Tripod number one, to be honest, this thing's a huge piece of shit, but it's very fast to set up and is great for shooting photos with. And tripod number two, the big dog. And I'm bringing the slider because while we're shooting a video here, maybe it's gonna help. And of course, camera number two with the Gorilla Pod. We'll probably need that for something. Oh yeah, you idiot, you should probably bring the clothes too. Really not looking forward to shooting these hoodies. It's like a hundred damn degrees out here. God, I'm 
I'm already sweating. So essentially what I need are like two or three good shots of the clothes on a human. Human I'm gonna use being me because I don't have anyone else around. And one or two shots of them by themselves set up just kind of stationary, either you know like on the ground or set up like in a little scene, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna start with the human shots because those are the ones where we definitely need the outdoor light and the outdoor scenery. And also we need those ones first because that's when we need the clothes to look the freshest. And then I'll move on to just the stationary product shots because I know they're gonna get a little bit dirty when I do that because definitely using the garage floor for a few because yeah, the floor doesn't look like much now, but when it's lit properly and edited right, it looks so, so good. So I'm definitely gonna use that for some. And of course doing that's gonna make the clothes a little bit dirty, so we're gonna do that last. A couple other things we're probably gonna do is introduce a few props, like, well, probably gonna use this thing. It's basically just a giant prop at this point. Try and get a couple shots rocking the helmet. And I think if we have time, I'm gonna try and get some shots with the KLX 110, try and get some wheelies and hand drags and things like that in there, get some action shots. Another thing that sucks right now is the light is just flat and terrible and gross. There's some clouds rolling in and yeah, using the sun, definitely not an option right now. Which kind of sucks because when you get the sun properly and that golden hour light, no matter what you do, looks incredible, even if it's totally shitty. So uh, we're not gonna have that advantage for us today, I don't think, unless something magical happens. So we're gonna have to get creative with the backdrops that I can find around here. So I think for outdoor shooting options, we've got mine and my neighbor's fence here with these weird vines growing all over them. No idea what the hell those are, but they make a cool backdrop. Can probably somehow use the back alley itself because I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like a fucking earthquake went through this thing. It's super ghetto. Uh, the concrete kind of looks cool though, and maybe, maybe I can get something with that. I'm not sure yet. Probably use my neighbor's ghetto ass garage because I mean, it looks kind of ghetto, but for some reason in photos, it looks good. Full disclosure, some of these holes may or may not have been front tires from my motorcycles doing wheelie tire bonks on them. I can neither confirm nor deny that. And right on the other side of their house, we got these, I don't know what the hell these flowers are called. They smell really good, but uh, we got a fence and those things growing all over them. So probably use that for something, even though it's totally not masculine whatsoever, might make a cool backdrop. So the first one I'm shooting is definitely going to be the white shirt because that one's the most high risk. Number one, because clearly it's white and I'm a scumbag and I'm gonna get dirt on it. And number two, it's like over hundred degrees out here right now. So that's definitely gonna get sweat through pretty quick. So I wanna get that over with fast. And right now I'm about to let you in on the trick on how I shoot all these photos by myself all the time. You only need your camera and a tripod, but what you need out of your camera is a camera that has the ability to shoot time-lapse mode. Not like a video time-lapse mode, I mean a photo time-lapse mode. So you can set it to shoot a photo like once every second, every two seconds, five seconds, whatever it is. That's the real key to how I get these kind of shots when there's no one around to help me. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll set this thing up somewhere, find the right angle, find a cool backdrop, whatever, set it to shoot one photo per second, and then just stand in front of it and kind of do slight movements, whatever, till I find the right angle, right pose, right whatever, to make the shirt look good, make whoever's in front of it look good, which is usually me when I'm by myself. And uh, it's a tough thing making me look good. But yeah, that's really it. That's how I get all the photos I get by myself without any help. It does suck in the post part when you're editing and stuff. You're weeding through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of garbage photos till you get the ones you want. But when you're by yourself, it's really all you can do. I've tried it a bunch of times the other way where I'm setting up a specific exact shot and just bang one or two off and move on and they always end up shitty and then I'm real pissed off after and whatever. So I'd rather shoot way more than I need and then I can go through and pick exactly what I want and scrap the rest. It's a lot easier that way. All right, one shirt down, moving on. I just had an idea that maybe, maybe I can get some help with this without leaving this little vicinity that I've put myself into. Hold on. You want to uh, come look hot in front of my camera for a few minutes? <laughs> well, not that kind of stuff. Let's be honest here, that would take more than a few minutes. Yes, that was a stroke of brilliance right there. Just so happens that there's a lady that lives like five houses away from me that's definitely gonna look a lot better in the shit that I do. So uh, I'm gonna put some of this on her and fire off a couple shots and maybe we'll get something out of that. She said she'll be here in like five minutes, but that's girl time. So let's go ahead and assume that's 20 to 30 minutes at least. So um, maybe we'll use the KLX to shoot this one for now before it starts raining. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you. 
So, this is Felicia. She lives down the street from me. She's wonderful. And she's gonna model this hoodie for me instead of me because it's too fucking hot for me to do it and that's why I called her. Yeah. <laughs> Let's use this, I guess. And then, I don't know, do some sexy girl stuff. What do girls do? Do they show their, do they show their butts? Do they show their butts? Let's use those flower thingies. I used those earlier. Really? They kind of look cool. And you like the look of it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for helping me. It was much Anytime. better. Much better than having you wear the hoodies than me. That's I'm really good at this stuff. Yeah. And I didn't want to wear those, so I'm very happy oh, that you yeah. did. <laughs> Sweat my now ass. Now I'm off. sweaty. Yeah. Go home. I'm done with you. Oh. <laughs> Well, that was a lifesaver. <laughs> it was way too hot out. I did not want to wear that thing. So thankfully she came to help me out. She only had to put them on for like five, 10 minutes at a time. Whereas if I would have done that by myself, it would have been like a good 45 minutes a piece. And it's over hundred degrees right now. There's no fucking way I would have survived doing that. So thank you, Felicia, for helping me out. We can move on now. So I think I've shot all that I can shoot outside because it is gray and terrible out there. And it's about to start storming like crazy. So I think now we'll bring it inside and get the product only shots. The couple of things that I was thinking about doing with the floor and maybe with one of the toolboxes or something like that and uh, maybe we'll be able to wrap this thing up and have at least something half decent. I was really hoping that I could wheel this thing outside and get a few shots but we just did not have enough light to do that and we ran out pretty quickly so that's gonna have to wait. Maybe I'll try and get a shot or two with it in here yet. I don't know I gotta think some stuff. Ah, yeah you know what I'm doing it. It's just gonna suck because I'm gonna have to push the thing because it doesn't run. I fried a crank position sensor a long time ago and well that is what it is. Oh you heavy bastard! Man, it's starting to rain, but I think I'm getting some half decent shit, so maybe I'll put on the blue hoodie and try and get a couple with that too. Might as well, I'm already sweating, so let's just do it. Well, I can hear the thunder and the rain's starting to come, so I better hurry up. But I don't think the Navy is actually gonna show up as Navy in the photos because it's so dark and it's so dark out outside. I think it's gonna show up as black. I don't know, I'm gonna have to just go for it. I hope it works. So I guess that's all that's left to do is I'm gonna get a shot of each one of these things laying on the ground and I think that's gonna be enough for me today. I think I've already sweat like 10 pounds out of me. I'm over it. So what I'm gonna do is just straight up use the concrete on the ground. I'm gonna use this section and that section so that there's at least a little bit of a difference going on between the photos and uh, yeah, just light it properly so that all the little imperfections and all the stains and all the stuff in the concrete come out because that detail is what's gonna make these photos look good. And then maybe I'll try to lay some stuff down in the photos with them to kind of, I uh, don't know, maybe stylize them a little bit. I'll do both ways so that that way I definitely have something I can use. So uh, I think I'll start with just the laying on the ground by itself thing and then I'll start tossing some stuff in there. I've got like my quarter fairing from my Dyna. I've got that mini bike frame. I've got a bunch of random crap around here. I can kind of lay around each piece and maybe make something creative. The only problem is that I let my mom borrow my ladder like a month ago and she still hasn't brought it back. So hopefully I can get high enough with this thing. I think that's a wrap. I'm not even gonna talk anymore out here. I wanna get inside in this air conditioning. We'll finish this up in there. Oh, it's a disgusting mess. I hate hot weather so much. But we got some pretty good stuff considering the odds were kind of stacked against me here today. And I'm usually a lot better at this, but that's when I have time to really figure things out and scope the weather, check out when the lighting's gonna be good and you know, figure out proper locations and stuff like that. But now I think that luxury is gonna slowly start to go away and I'm just gonna have to get used to doing this stuff quickly and on the fly like I did today. And I mean, obviously my skill level is gonna go up the more that I do this and I'll be able to do more with less time. I'm just gonna have to get used to it because I really can't foresee myself having any more spare time than I do now in the immediate future. So it is what it is. But I'm pretty happy with what I got and I am by no means a photographer of any kind. I will never claim to be one. I know like the bare minimum of what I need to get by between the camera and the editing process, but uh, considering that, 
I'm pretty happy with what I got with the time that I had to do it and the surroundings that I had to do it with. And since that's done, I can do the last part of my job, which is probably the most satisfying, and that's making these four pieces of clothing live on the site, ready to go for sale. It's always such a huge relief when I get to do that, because that means the hard part's over for at least a little while until I make something else, and then it starts all over again. So if you liked any of this new stuff, click the link down below, head to 38ridecode.com and pick up any of this new stuff. It would be super, super appreciated. I'm always pumped when I see people from the channel coming from here and picking stuff up and dropping comments about it. That's, that's super cool to me. And if you guys like this type of video, maybe let me know down below in the comments and maybe we'll do some more stuff like this about photo and video and whatever. I'm no expert on it, but maybe I have some kind of value I can share with you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, we'll see you again in the next one. Just don't get me from the feet down. You know what I mean. How am I going to get you from the feet down? <laughs> Pornhub Premium. Catch me there. I no, take I that said, back. No, I, said I that take thing. that back. People there are going to start oh, looking no. for it now. They're going to think that actually is a thing. Yeah. Pornhub. Which it very much might be. How is it possible that you're half black and I'm fucking darker than you I are? I know. <laughs> I think you should be on this side of the camera and I should be on the other side. You can do that. Because yeah. you're so handsome. I'm so, I'm so handsome. He's so handsome. <laughs>